Alex Modlin. This is another video in the uh, airbrush series of well, several more videos hopefully to come. Now this, sorry I've had to put this here at the back, it's so that the camera will auto focus because once you get something shiny like this um, it starts playing up. It just does not like auto focusing on it. Put a dark background it's even worse so you'll have to put up with this for a bit see what happens. Right, now this is the really common now that everyone's plugging the Iowa to Neo. Right, because say we've had this just after we started the channel, I'd say Christmas. Mm, yeah, about Christmas we bought this actual airbrush. Uh, we've used it, got several others, and to tell you the truth, it's okay, but it's not fantastic to tell you the truth. We've had several issues with it already and I just want to do a video I've actually found some alternative parts that actually fit this airbrush and do more or less the same job I'm not going to say quality wise they're the same um, but they definitely replace the parts are in here readily available at a fraction of the cost so they'll be good as a backup or alternative if you're halfway through a job you bend a needle then you've got to go and order one from my water. It may take a week, I don't know, it depends where you live in. Cost, that expensive as well. So I've gone through and found uh, alternatives at a fraction of the cost that actually will actually get you by until you either want to order the, uh, the genuine article or if you just want to use alternative uh, brands in this airbrush. Obviously, it comes with a warranty. I don't know where the needles are covered. Um, Obviously, if you change the part to me, you may lose your warranty, so I'm just letting you know that at the beginning. This is just to try and help you out, um, if you can't get spares for them. Right, I'll tell you the first things that I've found with this gun. Three major problems I've had with it since I've had it. Number one, this seal here. It's actually like um, a fibre washer. I'll show you on the small cup. because it's not it's actually gone on that one as well there's a fibre washer that goes there and after you've taken the pot off to change it if you stick to one pot it's not so bad but tighten and loosen it a few times fibre washer failed and then the pot leaks what I've actually done is put an L ring on it's probably ten times thicker but it does the job and it stops it leaking otherwise it drips from the pot so that was one issue that I had I have noticed you can actually buy Teflon ones but it didn't come with the Teflon one at the beginning, I don't think. The This part here, unless I've had a bad one with parts missing, here we end up with an air leak. There's actually no seal on here. Or if the seal was on there, it failed early on, fell off and I didn't notice because we get air leaks around here. You can't tell with painting, but if you just put thinners in, you'll actually see bubble through this seal. So I have to seal that seal off every time I've taken this off. And also the uh, packer, needle packer, uh, um, bush, bearing, alternative to our ring, whatever you want to call it, has failed on it. The way I could tell, you was pulling the trigger, you were getting bubbles here. And also the trigger, you could see the paint in there when I cleaned it. So that's all of that was failed in, what, three, four, four months. Okay, it has got used a lot between me and Alex, but even the cheap ones haven't failed that bad so you know whether it's just a bad one maybe but because of all these failures I've actually found alternatives that may help you out right I have um, noticed on YouTube a few people have said that they've had to uh, order needles because they've bent them either take them out to clean and drop them or one reason or another now the problem is if you don't change your needle and you put a bent needle back in there you will actually damage the nozzle eventually because it's n the chance of getting the needle dead straight you know I can show you how to straighten them but it's only a temporary thing um, you'll never get it as straight as it was when it was new it will actually wear the actual nozzle hole oval um, and so it'll never seal and what you'll find is you'll push the trigger down and you'll get a little splatter of paint instead of just air initially 
which you know could ruin your paintwork. So um, that's one of the telltale signs of the actual nozzle uh, wearing oval generally, because you know, especially if you know you've bent the needle and you're still using it, it will actually slowly damage it. Um, so we've found an alternative for a needle and also a nozzle and also in several different sizes whereas this one only comes in 3.5mm we can now change it to 2, 3, 3, 5 and 5 quite easily um, literally I could probably do it in a couple of minutes I, I will find out after, I'll, I'll change each one now what I'm going to do I've changed the packer in this already uh, because it did fail I'll just spray with it as it is then I'll change the needle and nozzle and show you with alternatives in there just to show that it, it does actually work also this cap here you, we, you can put either another one the same more or less fractionally might be fractionally shorter not a lot but also a crown cap will fit on here um, let's grab one of them I've got one, uh, this one here if you look if I can get it off this one this is my one that I use for clear if you don't like this type of cap because you do have to keep cleaning it does build up let's pull the trigger back so we don't damage the eagle you can actually get an alternative crown so that's another thing that is available either a new one of those or a, a crown type. I'm just going to put this back on here. I don't want to um, bend me needle in that one. Right, let's show you it working first. Now the parts that I found that are alternatives, well in the UK they are easily to obtain. I don't know about anywhere else but um, all I can go on is the UK. Find, I just need to put something black, it'll probably go out to focus slightly, but there we are with about the only way I can show you. I don't want to put painting because I'm going to strip it down. There we is, that's the original, that's point three. Empty. So what I'll do now, we'll change the needle in the nozzle. Now we'll need to keep these safe, let's just First of all, under the chuck nut, so I'll try and keep this in frame, under the chuck nut, remove the needle. Trigger has popped out, but that doesn't matter. Sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. Remove the cap, and now remove this front. Now this part it looks to be non-standard. I don't know whether this one will fit, I'll just try it. No, it doesn't. That one's completely different. Now that pot there, I can't find anything to replace it. But to tell you the truth, there's nothing really oops, to go wrong with that part. All you have to do is make sure you don't damage that. It's really important that hole is round and centralised. So, put that there. Now what we'll need, I'll show you what we've got. We've got 0 0.5, 0 0.2, 0 0.3 needles. To go with it, we have got a 0 0.3, 0 0.5, and 0 0.2 nozzles. So those are the parts. Also, what you may need, I've got them here. Teflon packers, bushes, replacements of O-rings, whatever you want to call them. I've got three of them here. I'll buy them in threes to make it worthwhile on postage. Uh, these work out to about £1.50. They're probably worth pennies, but trying to get those is a bit of a nightmare. Also, these are um, Vida seals, but a couple of these seals actually are the same size if you need to use any seals, and these are nice and cheap. I have to use this PTFE tape to actually seal 
this part here. You can use beeswax, but I haven't got any. I'll just put a bit of PTFE tape round when I've finished. I won't put it round during changing the nozzles because it'll just be a pain to keep changing. But a spanner to remove the nozzle, and in here I've just got some uh, glycerin just as a, a lubricant for the seals and that. So, triggers removed, needles removed, the two uh, caps have removed, removed, and then all you do is undo the actual nozzle. Now I'm going to put the, they'll be out to side, the nozzle will, but I don't want to lose it, because I'll just put it back in anyway. Okay, so there we are, left with just that. Now what we'll go for is, we'll, go for, we'll try Point two, which you can see all these are brand new, never even open them. These do actually come with the seal, as you can see. I've changed the camera position, so I've got to try to find the camera. Hopefully, it's in a better position for you. The seal's already on there, the same as on. It's only got to be just... Now what thing, what they do, they actually put a different size spanner. Well, if you buy the cheap airbrushes, they come with the other spanner, so hopefully... That's another one that doesn't fit. I should have one that fits. Well, I hope I've got one that fits. Unless it's in the airbrush box. Yes, yeah, so I'll just get one out of the box. This one fits because this was the one that was supplied with the airbrush that, yeah. So that may be the only problem. It's literally just crimp it up very, very slightly. Now that one is just too small. This one is the alternative. So that's the nozzle. Point 0.2, so we'll go for a point 0.2 needle. Okay. Now, on these needles, obviously they're far, far cheaper than the um, oil water ones. What you'll find is they're nowhere near so smooth. But that isn't a problem. Um, I will show you in another video what to do with uh, these needles to get them a, a really nice finish that actually uh, helps them a lot. I'm just going to use it as is, just for this uh, test. I'm just going to drop a little bit of glycerin on there, always do probably somebody's going to say you shouldn't do that but I always do, line it up push it through it go through the bush and then well, what I'll do, I'll leave it loose a second I'll push it all the way in I'll put the front on now it will leak out of here because like I said it's see if I can find well on. This is the same pack as that other one but I've actually taken all those seals out already for a valve seal. Let's try this orange. I didn't see it coming now. If it was this, uh, an hour in this size, I'd have actually noticed it to tell you the truth. So, we'll try it. It might not work, it might blow back or do something silly, but we'll, we'll try it. Put the uh, front on. Under the chuck nut. Push the needle forward. Lock it up. Yep, it's got it fine. To help it, I'll put the trigger in. So, concentrating. Which way we put that in. So I always support it when I'm putting the needle in so that we don't um, 
bend it. I won't bother putting the cap on, we'll just make sure it works. It sounds like it's blowing out there. Just pull it in to make it work. Yep, that's what happens when you put this with this part here, this seal. If I take that off, can't get it back on now. It's not really damage the threads. There we go. It must be the spacing that an O-ring gives that part there that actually causes it to blow back up here. So even a very thin O-ring, it must be a fibre washer or nothing. But I do find it leaks, which is a bit stupid. Now, let's get the cardboard again, just to show you. So this is, as you saw, cheap. No difference. Well, if anything, it is smaller because it's a point two. No spluttery, no nothing. Works absolutely fine. Okay. So what I'll do now. Needle out. We'll put the needle back in the appropriate box. And put the... Uh, these are useful to keep uh, rubber ends just to stop them getting damaged. So that's that. I'll try to remember to put the trigger in next time. And we'll get the right spanner. Probably do the wrong one. No, that's the correct one. The point two. Well, I won't do the point three. It costs the point to do all three of them, but we'll go in there for. I haven't tried this myself. Point five. With a point five. Hope you're keeping this in focus. So again, seals on, exactly the same, same brand, everything's the same. Again, just pinch it up. I mean, there's no pressure there at all, none whatsoever, it doesn't need it, it's got an O-ring, it's not actually having to uh, compress anything hard, so finger tight is all that it needs. This time I'll remember to put We'll trigger back in. There we go. Now one thing that is slightly different, I'll try. This one here is the alternative. This one on the right well, it is, if you look again on the black, it is that much longer. About a millimetre. Millimetre and a half maximum, that's the only difference. Just put a bit of glycerin on this again. Not the trigger here, Chris. One sec, because I've heard a lot of people I'm struggling to get parts for my water. And this is a nice, easy alternative at a, fra I mean a fraction of the cost. Okay, everything's working again. Yep, everything's secure. Let's try again. So I'm using the same thing, the same air, same everything. Well, you can see I'm not taking it out to shot. And this is where we will go out to focus again, probably.
Patrick is an right in gun. Can't be. Now we've got theatre from this room. Make sure. First. Yep, there we are. Because I haven't used this, but I have found a problem there. Well, not a problem, but if you're using 0.5, you can actually get away with this thing on. By the looks of it. Because of the taper, it's slightly different on a 0.5. So, there is a slight difference. It's going to be awkward to go to 0.5, but 0.2 and 0.3 shouldn't be an issue. But I think we can, we can still use it as 0.5. Because the uh, actual front nozzle no. I did actually get it working without that on just as you can see this isn't real it's we're finding out as we go along. I think if I take that off, because of this is actually slightly bigger diameter than the hole in there, when I go too far, it shuts the air off. It shuts it off. I was running out. If I wouldn't go for this, I can use it, I've just, and that there, actually will adjust the actual amount of flow, which is <laughs> really good, <laughs> but um, no, I'd stick to point two and three, point two and three work as is, point five is, we need the hole in the end of this changing, can get away with it if you need to. As you can see, it is working. And then there's a much heavier spray. What it actually needs is a packer here, if you want to use it. As you can see, there's a small gap. It's not leaking or anything. And if you put Teflon tape, it'll be fine. Uh, like I normally do, wrap Teflon tape. We can actually now get away with 0.5. But realistically, the whole This hole here, just um, pull the needle out the way so we don't bend it. The hole in the end of there needs actually to be larger for 0 0.5. I'm going to say 0 0.2, 0 0.3 is going to work because the other one's 0 0.5, uh, 0.35, so those will work, but it's not quite as so straightforward for 0 0.5. So, let's undo this. Put these parts there. back in their appropriate boxes. So that's 0.5, but they will get you out of it if you're in trouble. Now, I think these cost three, three, four pound and the needles, but you can actually buy on this pairs, I think even cheaper. So, I think the seal sets, if you need a seal for anything, are about the same price. Um, put this, can you put the seal back in there? No. Let's try and find where I'll put this. Oh well, I'll have to find the seal after. I don't know where to put the seal. Definitely not in there, but right back to the gun. Make sure there's no thinness left in it. Point five. Ooh. 
Right, now the other thing that goes, that's got on me is this Teflon bush inside. Right, to change that, what you do, that's going to fall out anyway. You undo this one here, this retaining. Right, you'll probably end up having to take the, the uh, chuck nut off anyway. If not, it'll unscrew itself anyway, so. It's awkward to keep this in focus. Remove this, which removes the spring, and also this with the actual part for the trigger that presses against the back of the trigger. I'm taking this off just for ease of use. Right, now in there, you can, ooh, it's actually focused on it, you can actually see at the very bottom there's a brass screw with a slot in it that's there's a hold down the centre. That is the retaining pin for the Teflon packer, bush, whatever you want to call it. And what I actually use, I got myself an electrical screwdriver, cut all the insulation off, and that fits perfect. Just down there, rotate. There is the brass retainer with a hole through it. And left inside, which you can't see, is the packer. Now you can either use your needle backwards, very careful, don't bend the, uh, the end. And there we are. Let's see if we can move this, we can actually focus on it. Nope. Not very well. Let's take that out a second. There's the packer, the little Teflon packer. Let's say I have had one fail. On other airbrushes, they are uh, O-rings, which tend to fail. The, the way you can normally tell when they're failing, either like I said, there's paint in this chamber here. It doesn't sound right when you pull the trigger, or with the um, the O ring type and the same symptoms, or the, the trigger sticks. As a, if you've actually used um, something like cellulose or some of the harsh chemicals, it actually melts the actual O ring itself and it sticks to the needle. You'll pull the trigger back, it stays back, it's just not free at all. Now, this is one I've actually. I, I couldn't actually get that as a separate item from oil water. Whether it was just me or what, I don't know, but here it looks a very, very small hole, but that is an old one that I had to replace in here out of another brush because it um, it failed. Let's try and get my let's try not to lose these. Now these are let's put the needle through. I think it's actually slightly, yes it is, if you look, slightly um, thicker, deeper, and that one if you look, that one uh, is, it actually wobbles, it is too loose, uh, I guess it was an old one because uh, it did fail, I took that out of an old airbrush just to get me by, but now I've got these, so I'm going to try one. I'll put that to one side, I'll put that, this in the packet and I'll actually change it and try these. And if you look, Hydrogen steam bag. Three, four, the um, bu -bu 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 -bu. Ultra. These ones for the Ultra. I think they do fit several of them, but Right, what I'm going to do, I don't want to uh, damage my needle, so I'll just pinch one of these covers off one of the, just to uh, put over the end, so it shouldn't get damaged now. Now what I actually do, I'll get the needle backwards, put, well when I can get to it, the brass retaining uh, bolt, nut, no it's in a nut, it's a Pin. Then the, put this back on the end. So we like that. Get the airbrush and push it through like so. Now this make it if it's free like it was on the other one, it's not a problem. But then I just pull. 
hold that um, in place. Probably not best thing to do with a screwdriver. Oh. Then put the screwdriver in and tighten it up. Okay, now what I've done, that's tight. What I'll do now is get the needle from the other side. I'm going to lubricate it a bit. Better off from this side. I'll push it through, and you can tell that there. You can tell whether it's just doesn't take a lot of effort because it's brand new. Now I get it that it just just holds it because that bush will wear slightly. As you can see, it doesn't take a lot of effort, but it is holding it. It doesn't fall. It does if you force it, but you know it's definitely not jamming in there. So. I'm happy with the tightness. The more you tighten that nut, the more it compresses it, it makes it tighter on the needle. So if you do get one leak, first thing to do is try tightening the actual um, that peg. Oh, let's have a look to see what it's called. Now I'm going to have a look to see what it's called because it's going to annoy me now. Let's have a look what they're calling it. 13. Needle guide. Okay. <laughs> tighten the needle guide up until it's just. You know, it's it's nice and smooth. You definitely won't leak at that. So, so that's that. Now it's just a case of reassemble. This is going to stay assembled. So I will put a little bit of glycerine on there. I always do. It's just personal choice. A bit on the back so that gets lubricated. Someone's going to tell me I'm doing wrong, but. The way I do it, and I've had no problems. If you can't get that to stay and it keeps popping out, the thing to do if you, if you just remove that, it takes a plunger out of the equation there. And then, once you tighten this up, it actually will hold. That's another thing with this, that thread is ropey, it really is, it's just not smooth at all. And I say, I know these guns aren't made by my water, they're made for them, so I don't know where they're made. I'm going to put the needle in, but I'm not going to have it to come through the end. Um, a bit of lube on it. That is, that is beautiful and smooth. And pull it through so it's not sticking at the end and lock it up. We can't damage the needle then. Now, this part, the Teflon tape, run it this time. Because it's crap and it leaks. The tape's a bit wide, really. I have to cut it down. So, uh, I said beeswax, I think, is the uh, better option, but we haven't got any. And I've got some of this, so this was what we was going to use. Just get, get the Teflon tape. And wind it backwards, like so. If you wind it the other way, when you put the uh, it on, it's actually unscrew it unscrews it sort of thing, so make sure that the tape doesn't come over the hole or anything. See, the hole's exposed. Perhaps if I put the uh, correct needle. I'm going back to the original needle. Pinch it up a fraction, not a lot at all. Screw this out, and hopefully that Teflon tape sealed that. 
push that forward. I'm going to put a bit of lube on this O-ring here because it's a pain for sticking. Another problem with it. This one also had a, like a supposed Teflon one, but I'm not convinced. So, yep, working. Let's say you can tell whether the, that's right. That, you know, if it comes back and it sticks, it's, you've tightened it too tight, but that's absolutely perfect. Cup just to uh, hope it doesn't gag on the uh, O-ring. There we are. Moment of truth. Right, um, let me pick some. There we go. Now bubbling. New packer. Several different um, nozzles and needles. Now I have actually tried the 0.2 needle using that nozzle. Oh, I'll just show you. 0 0.5, 0 0.5 like I say, not convinced, hadn't tried it before, tried it, mm -hmm. probably not the best option, just have to do this quickly because it's got um, things in and it will be running out, then we are using the original, now this is 0.2, the 0.3 obviously will be better, but if you've only got a point two, using the original nozzle, still really nice. Put it back slowly. You can say you won't have quite the probably the range, but it will get you out of uh, trouble if you're in trouble. There you are, by water, using non by water spare parts that you can get at a fraction of the cost, and like I've just shown you, they do work. Um, it's not just oh yeah, somebody says they work. You've just seen it yourself. They do actually do the job. I'll drop in the link at the bottom, two places that I've actually used for spare parts, one for the uh, harder um, packers, which is the main, that was a nightmare one really, to uh, try and get those separate, I managed to get them, and they are actually better than those <laughs> anyway, uh, that they are actually um, deeper, so they should last longer. £1.50. I'm sure there was £1.50 or £1.30. Might have even been £1.5, I can't remember. Just over a pound anyway, so that was cheap. And the needles and nozzles, I think I think they're 2 99 from what I can remember. I should have checked before I actually started the video, but I didn't. A quicker that was Iowata spares, do all the Iowata spares, harder, all the iron brand. Um, airbrush spares, really good, next day delivery, not a problem. I say I wasn't going to recommend it until I tried them, yeah, no problems at all. And all the needles, nozzles, and uh, O-rings, uh, bar sharp, all the Vida range, that's what these are. Um, Vida, replacement spares, work fine in Iowata. Work in the Neo, whether they'll work in any of the others, couldn't say, I haven't got one to try. But hopefully that, that was useful. It was um, an alternative if you're stuck uh, and you can't get the actual 
genuine parts. It will get you out of it until you actually purchase the genuine parts. So, thanks for watching, and I hope this was uh, helpful to you.